Yo, welcome to a new video. Today is Monday, January 28th. Uh, and first, I actually have a question for you, okay? Well, if you're not, first subscribe, turn on bell notifications, like the video, all that good shit. But what I want you to do before we get into the video is comment below what kinds of videos you want to see from us because uh, our videos right now, we're kind of just putting out the kind of videos that we want to make. But is it videos that you want to see? Who the fuck knows? We don't know. So comment what kind of videos you do want to see from us. We can talk about anything. But basically, it's entrepreneurship related because that's what we're super passionate about. Entrepreneurship, money, lifestyle, all that shit. Um, and please don't say publishing or publishing tutorials. You can say publishing. We can talk about publishing, but not tutorials per se because everything you need to make a shitload of money with publishing is already free on our channel. We have hundreds of videos, not, not hundreds, probably around 100. Or the free training, yes, join the free training. If you're, if you're not ready to invest in the course, free training down below. But first, let's uh, show you what we're up to today. Here, I'm in Rasmus's room. He's actually, we actually, oh, this is actually kind of cool. We actually got one of the best tattoo artists in Bali to come to our villa. Uh, so we got a bunch of friends over. We're doing like a tattoo party. Rasmus is getting tattooed right now. Um, I will run down to him, show you what we're doing. I'm also gonna get something. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. We'll see. You guys will see. I maybe we'll show you at the end of the video. But let's let's get there. I already heard you're a great photographer. Oh, thank you. New dog. Steve. Everyone here hey, Steve. already saw how you're directing Charlotte in the perfect oh. positions. <laughs> How's thank going? You. It's going good. We're gonna start. With All right, Rasmus is over here. He was the first one up. What you getting done, big boy? Take a look. See. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh that looks good. But the shading looks pretty epic. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna get a copyright claim for the music on this video now. Every time there's music in the background that happens. So uh the topic of this video we actually don't know yet. But you'll see in the title, I just know it's gonna be lit, it's gonna be informative, it's gonna be epic. Right? Yes. So let's go to that. All right, so Rasmus just finished his. How long did it take? Uh, maybe like an hour twenty. Pretty quick. But what I want to say, my first impression, that's a lot of ink. It's a lot of ink. It's a lot of ink. It's a lot of ink. It's, it's, it's a lot much of ink. more than I was expecting. Yeah, but do show it. Let's show. It looks crazy. It looks crazy. Gotta think ahead. But yeah, it is a lot of ink. More than I was expecting. To be honest, but it's also easy to hide. You know, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. No, like, no. It looks. There's fucking. Yeah, it's, it's subtle. It's subtle. Yeah. But subtly big too. Yeah. <laughs> subtly big. <laughs> So yeah, if you didn't know, this thing was done a week ago. It was like mm -hmm. super basic. It was basically like a stick figure tree with like lines and mm -hmm. a circle to uh, for yeah. the sun. Yeah. And then the whole thing got pimped the fuck out. Yeah. Very happy. Dude, are you up next? <sighs> Me? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're up next. Right, okay. Oh, fuck. I need a... Okay, fuck it. I mean, I'll go. Um, I guess it's my turn. Right. It is now Christian's turn to get a tattoo. I... Let's just, I mean, let's Don't take a spoil look. what it is. Don't spoil it? No. Okay, so we're gonna wait? We'll see it afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Alright. We'll wait till it's done then. Fine. Oh, Where's that scar from? Please. Um, Jonah accident. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny because we just talked about this. Oh, really? We're taking a pizza out of an oven. <laughs> oh. DiGiorno. Mm, yeah. It's not uh, the best story. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. It's not. <laughs> Damn, delivered yet. It's Giorno. not a drone accident, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> also, the Mohawk thing right now is also lit. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. But I'd be down for I that too. Like, I just don't know how to do a man on myself. Mm. Like, I have, like, I have Natasha do it. I have oh, Jesse. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to Nabil? Um, he's gonna get a French braid. Nice. On either side. What's French, French braid? Oh. French yeah. braid. Actually, I think this is um a milkmaid braid because I'm going over the top. Mm. Right. So he's gonna have two. Just intro the vlog. What's up? Oh, oh hey guys. Vlog. Hey guys. Hey, this Today we're gonna, gonna do a we're gonna do a new <laughs> review of this beautiful <laughs> new product. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I love it. Quality, mm -hmm. as you can see, it's amazing. brand new. You got this yesterday, right? Yes, yeah. actually. It came uh, out of the box looking like this. Flea market. <laughs> yeah, flea market for three bucks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah. all that. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Ooh, I think okay. it's been a long time since we just sat down and talked like Yes, this. it has. It's been a while. Here's the thing. Well, it's good to be back. Yeah, we've okay. not filmed many YouTube videos recently. So, uh -huh. like, the uploads have been down. Yeah. We're going to bring those up again. But there's been a lot going on. And, yeah, that's basically what it is. Focusing and learning other shit in the yeah. meantime. Yeah, and just uh, a lot of things going on in the house. People moving in and out. It doesn't matter. Um, but we're going to film a bunch of videos today. And, like, I'm really fucking excited mm -hmm. for it. Because that's what mm -hmm. I want to do. Mm -hmm. Make videos for people. Okay. But, yes. So I think this video is going to be a huge video for a lot of people. First, Agreed. it is a very, very highly requested video. Mm -hmm. So many people have asked to hear this. And this is the kind of stuff I like to talk about. And this is a really, not really publishing. fun topic. It's not publishing. Okay. Yeah. Today is the day after from the footage you just saw. We had a little tattoo party yesterday, which was oh. fucking awesome. Uh, that was a fun time. I was saying this before. I was, watch I was watching the footage back. Okay. I was like, dude. Normal people don't do that. What, don't we, what we did that, like I felt like two like, artists to the house, like, and I felt like, like that's what YouTubers do. I <laughs> felt like a YouTuber, you know, the ones with millions of subscribers, and they go around and they just they have a lot of money, so they do weird shit now. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt like. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Okay. We're such frauds though. Yeah. Because like we're not big YouTubers. Right? Yeah. yeah. No. I, First of all, no, I, I no, don't, don't. I don't even, even say that. Like that term. Yeah. Really. I feel super gay. Yeah. Saying and that. we don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Again, I guess it's all comparative. But anyway, topic of the video, what do you do after you hit 10k with publishing mm -hmm. because that's something we've said a lot we've always said once you hit around 10k in one month mm -hmm. profit from publishing then it's uh, time to start moving on or thinking about the future and other options because we've always said publishing is always only and it will forever be for us and everyone we teach uh, the stepping stone uh -huh. the first step in <clears throat> Achieving the life that you want and I mean I want to say why it is one move is it's because you can't scale it to massive You're not gonna be a millionaire. You can scale it beyond 10k. Yeah, you can. I believe you I believe if you can scale it to 10 you can scale it to 20 Yeah beyond 20 is where I, I haven't think. seen much of that yeah. Although we want to fucking do that with our account. Uh, I just want to take it to another, to another level our 2019 you know? goal is 30k mm -hmm. from just audiobooks in one month. Will we achieve it? Who knows? Uh we're on our way. Yeah, we're, we're on, on our, our way. way. You guys will see the numbers coming soon. Yeah. But yeah. But it's not going to make you a millionaire. Publishing won't make you no, a millionaire. No, it will not make you a millionaire. And we're trying to be millionaires, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And I uh, assume, yeah. hope you are as well. We'll get into that real quick. Mm -hmm. I want to say, yeah, ten. Uh, once you get to 10K in publishing, so this is a fluid term. I think anywhere between 10 and 15 to 20. But mm -hmm. 10 to 15, uh, I guess you decide yeah, it's really where how you, you want to take about it to. It. Yeah. And if you're going to tell you, like, I want to, like, I've still have a drive but I think a lot of people lose that drive at least we do yeah. but you're 10 it's like I've done this for at, so long it's boring at 10k a month you're making enough money to move on live a sick life $10,000 a, a month, month is a lot of money a fuck of that's money. a lot of money if you're one person you yeah. only have yourself to take care of it's yeah. a lot of money yeah so we're making this video you realize you realize when you have it like there's so much left over like, yeah your bank account's growing every month and you're living fucking mm -hmm. a dope ass life yeah. at least here in Bali that's if you're if living in New York or Australia or something like that that's different, yeah. but still shit yeah. money. So we're making this video because it's highly requested, but also because some people are starting to get there. Mm -hmm. Starting to get towards the 10K uh, mm -hmm. a month with publishing. Mm -hmm. But so let's get into the actual topic. What do you do afterwards? So we need to start with one thing. What we were talking about before. Yeah. The first step in all of this, and this applies in like fucking everything in life to what should I do? The first step is to figure out what do you want? What do you want? Because we learned a bunch of things at like this mastermind last weekend and a lot of things don't apply to us because like I don't want what Iman wants, yeah. who is the host of the mastermind. Here's one, do you want to give the example that I know you have in mind? Uh, you can bring it, what is it? Well, it's just that uh, when it comes to growing your Instagram page. Mm, yes, right? great say, example. You run ads, we'll make a different, different video talking more in depth about that, but run ads on your, uh, to your Instagram account to grow followers so you get over $10,000. $10,000. So you get over 10,000 followers and you got the swipe up thing. Um, but then once you reach 10K, stop. You know? That's what he, that's what Amon says. Yeah. And that's what he would do himself. Yeah. And I believe he would. But that's because that is what? his goal. Or his goal is not to have a big a Instagram. Yeah. And look, I want a lot of Instagram followers. I'm sorry. I want a lot of Instagram followers. Sorry it's for fun. what? Sorry for sorry what? Sorry for nothing. Yeah. So he said, he doesn't want that. He said, I want that. So he told us not 
Two. He told us, uh, all right, guys, you can stop running your he ads. He told now. us multiple times, cut the ads, cut the ads. But, but we're like, no, because we don't want what you want. Mm -hmm. We want to build the Instagram beyond 10K. And then his argument is, oh, but that's not going to make you any more money because leads aren't on Instagram. We're like, Fine. yeah, I don't care. I want a big Instagram page. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to continue running. We that was a perfect example. We just, we had the awareness to realize, no, we're not going to stop the ads because we have different goals from you. So no, we're not going to listen to your advice, which is great advice. Like, you know, a lot and everything, but no, it doesn't apply to us. Mm -hmm. So you need to watch this video and everything you do with the same mindset. Don't take everything that everyone says as just the answer. You even, have if it, even if it's coming from freaking Bill Gates yeah, saying it yeah, or exactly. some highly respected person. Is it aligned with your goals? Yeah. That's, that's step one. Mm -hmm. So figure out what you want and then apply the information that you learned to that. So, but let's get into it. We're going to be talking to the people that have the same goals as us. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, that's really all we can do. Yeah. And those are the people we want to make videos for. Those are the people we want watching our videos. So, well then let's say what our goals are so they can say, like, yep, that's yeah. me. So that's just sum it real quickly so we can actually get into the topic is we want to make millions and multi-millions of dollars in our businesses and beyond. That's basically what it is. So we have very big goals uh, of getting to that level. A ton of people don't want to make millions of dollars. And Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. If you get to 10K in publishing and that's all you want and you don't want to publish anymore, you just want to live off of the royalties, great. Do that. This video just won't apply to you yeah. that well. That I much. also I also want to be recognized for my efforts as a successful yes. entrepreneur. AKA I want to yes. be famous. Yes, some people want I to want the attention. I want the attention. Yep. Yep. So at least right now. At least right at least now. Right now. Goals goals are fluid. Goals can change every day. Yeah. But right now this is a goal. Yeah, I try and like, wow, this is yeah. actually not that lit. Yeah. So it's you, actually annoying as fuck. Yeah. It could get there. I'm maybe young and naive and I, whatever. Yeah. But that, anyway. that's not the point. Yeah. That's not so the point. You can even want to make millions of dollars, but you want to stay faceless. You don't want anyone to know who you are. That is uh, that is not what we want. So that also does not really apply to this because mm -hmm. what we're going to tell you to do uh, requires to put your face everywhere. Mm -hmm. So let's say you want to make millions and no one knows who you are. It's some shit like start a software company, start a startup, a tech startup, whatever. We know nothing about that. The we're next not talking this video because we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. So. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do once you hit the 10 to 15K mark and you're starting to get bored and you want to move on and you want to make millions? What's the next step? Publishing is the stepping stone. Mm -hmm. The next step, this is what I 100% think and uh, like I'm very confident that this is the next step for people who want to get there. Because mm -hmm. uh, this is like a replicable thing mm -hmm. and it is starting your personal brand. Yeah, that is the next step. So. How do you get into starting your personal brand? Should we talk about that? Let's yes, because that's that, what so. this, this video is about. Um, it is. It involves a lot of social media. Your mm -hmm. personal brand is hosted on social media. The big ones being YouTube. This is by far the main one. Mm -hmm. By far the main one. Because you're not building a personal brand b to become famous and known and recognized. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a cool byproduct of it, for us at least. Mm -hmm. Like, because that's, that's a part of our goal. So it's a cool byproduct. But the main goal is making the money. Mm -hmm. The millions, the multi, -mil the multi millions, uh, that comes through the personal brand. Mm -hmm. And YouTube, I don't care what anyone says, I've not been convinced otherwise, and I don't think I will, that there's another platform that's better for it than making millions of dollars from your personal brand. Because we have not spent a single penny on it, and yeah. it's and, done good for and, us so far in such a short And I can quickly explain why. Personal branding uh, is about building relationships and long form video is the best way to get personal and build relationships. Mm -hmm. So I want to say something up next. So. Okay. Just, I'm going to bring up the three main platforms. So YouTube by far, number one, by far. Mm -hmm. Then number two would be probably be Instagram. And then number three, Facebook. These are like the big three. You know, then there's, well, then there's, we don't know shit about LinkedIn. Say, LinkedIn is social media one. size. Instagram is number one in the world now. Yeah, but that's not, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Social media, Instagram definitely is number one. Mm -hmm. But for the importance of your personal brand, YouTube, number one, Instagram, Facebook. What did you want to say? I just want to say that, so with this personal brand thing, oh, I want to take a step back. When it comes to publishing, publishing is a way to make money. Mm -hmm. And then, in my opinion, to then fund yeah. the, your oh, business yeah. for life, meaning your, your passion business, mm -hmm. right? So for us, that was building a personal brand about entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. right? Because that's a real passion. Yeah. 
So this next business should be something that you actually fucking love to do. Yes, yes. Now it becomes a really passion thing. To. It's fun. We have so much fun working mm -hmm. on this shit. Uh -huh. This shit is so much fun. Yep. You know, and you're getting paid a lot of money for it. Like, mm -hmm. it's insane. Yeah. So, so for us as entrepreneurship, you might love find your niche. No, I'm not the niche of your personal brand. Yeah, basically, the first came if, off the top of my head. Maybe you love dogs, and it's about dogs. Yeah. I don't know. Like that's what you have a fucking burning desire and love and passion for dogs. Maybe it's food vlogging. Uh -huh. Another big one that I feel like a lot of people want to get into is fitness. Uh -huh. You want to, yeah, build your personal brand in fitness. Uh -huh. uh, again, here might come the ugly things that people don't want to hear. Like if you want to be successful in fitness, you can't be overweight. You can't be Ugly. That's not. That's an unpleasant word to that, say. But it's just the truth of it. So you need to have. You have a look. massive advantage. You yeah. have a massive advantage yeah. if you're. I, I suppose you're there is a niche for I guess the overweight fitness guy, maybe. But uh, that's not the point. Sure. There could be. Um, but the point is, like building a personal brand will be easier for some and harder for others. A lot of it has to do with your personality, uh, your introversion versus extroversion. I guess uh, how good you are on camera, how you look. Uh, which it, which we would just put under called optics, something called optics. Yeah. How you look, your, your voice, uh, height, all these things that yes. like people don't talk about. People don't want to talk about because it, it doesn't sound good. And it's just it gives people advantages and disadvantages. It, is it what doesn't it is. make it impossible for anyone. Yeah, right. It's not just, fair. That's how it is. You like, just there's nothing you can do about it. A big and it's not an excuse either. Yeah, it's, it's not certainly an excuse. not an excuse. Uh, a big unfair advantage that we have is we're twins. It makes us very unique. Unfair it makes advantage. us stand out. It makes videos more fun, everything. If you're a twin, um, you just are set up in the perfect way. Because, like, I'm at twins on Instagram, twins on YouTube, mm -hmm. they're interesting, they're fun. Yeah. You know, so if you're a twin, then you're freaking, and you're not utilizing that, then Unfair you're advantage. wasting a gift that yeah. you've given. So, how to get started with your personal brand? Again, publishing, just Imagine money. Imagine you triplets. Imagine that. Holy wow. fuck. A then, triplets channel? Wow. Dude, that would be hectic. That'd be crazy. Exactly. Every video would be like a party. Wow. That anyway. would be, wow. That would be a lot. Yeah. Shit, imagine like oct octuples. That would be tough. Every video is just complete it, mayhem. It, I want to say something. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I disagree with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every video is just fighting. a brawl. <laughs> yeah. Just a brawl turned orgy. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, how do you get started with the personal brand? Step one is find your niche. How did you transition so quickly from that in your mind? I'm still gathering my thoughts. Sorry. Okay. Uh, how do you start? Find your niche. For us, it's entrepreneurship. It's whatever you're passionate about. I feel like, think about your niche. It shouldn't be something like, hmm, I'm going to write down a checklist, uh, cross off this one. Uh, it's down to these three. It's, I feel like it just comes to you. It's you something you're know. passionate about. It's something you want to dedicate your whole life to. And entrepreneurship is something we want to dedicate our whole life to. Last sentence. A lot of people watching, you, entrepreneurship is probably your niche for a probably, lot of people. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So it's probably that thing that you've been thinking of for so long. Like, hmm. The dream business that you want to have, or mm. or something like that, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you like think of, like hmm, maybe I should try this. Maybe I you try feel that. it. You feel it deep yeah. inside of you. Yeah. Um, so now you know your niche. What do you can start from there? YouTube videos. You start making YouTube videos. Build an Instagram page, like separate from your personal. I have like a personal Instagram. Then we have our business, which is Mickelson mm -hmm. Twins. Mm -hmm. If you're not followed there, follow us there. Um, you it's starting a cool YouTube. shit goes down. Yeah. You get to see our lives. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's starting a YouTube, uh, a Facebook page. You don't just start them all the same day and start going from YouTube's there. YouTube is the big one. YouTube, YouTube is, is the big, the big one. one. I wouldn't worry about the other ones yet. The Facebook page I don't even use. Start a YouTube channel once you are ready and start talk about what it is you want to talk about in the beginning. Talk about what you want to talk about. Or again, this could be a whole different video. We're not going to talk about this. But how you start a YouTube channel is you provide value. Mm -hmm. A lot of people start making vlogs. Right in the beginning, no There's one gives no a value fuck about, a about your vlogs. No one gives a fuck. If we, but once you have 10k loyal subscribers, then people will care about your vlogs. I was gonna say, if we had didn't done did vlogging from the beginning, like our best friend Max did, just mm -hmm. saying that's what he did, and there's no one there to watch the videos, like how are they gonna start? Why would they keep watching them? It, like you know, yeah, he for us they come back for the value. They can learn something mm -hmm. to build their business. Yeah, and now we have started incorporating the vlog stuff. Um, because people know us and like they kind of more interested in our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm just my point is you can't start with vlogs. Yeah, is my point there. Like Max started with vlogs, like 20 vlogs in 20 days every day for 20 days. It was just a massive failure. No one watched. But they're a great memory to have for yeah, us. Yeah, great memory. Yeah. So he just documented, Hawaii. documented his life. Yeah. So those are all. 
it was, he wanted to build a YouTube channel following, but it did not happen because there was no reason to watch it. Like, if unless you're narcissistic, you'll realize that like no one gives a fuck about my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so but yeah, provide value for us. It was publishing. That's something we knew we could provide val provide value on. And I know a lot of our followers who, who are taking the path that we talk about. It's gonna be very very similar to ours. It's gonna be build your publishing from zero to ten to fifteen k. Start your personal brand in entrepreneurship. Start making YouTube videos about publishing. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I was thinking of, like, because okay, that's what you have to offer. Let me say what I was going through my mind was like, okay, you're starting from scratch with a personal brand. How do you really get started, mm -hmm. right? But then I just remembered, oh, these are people that have just that are making 10k on the publishing. They have money, and when you have money, you yep. could grow this thing fast. Yep. You just start running so, ads for your stuff, so, and that's something that we're gonna talk about selling, in many more videos yes. uh, in the future because it's yes. something we're still working on. I can't talk about it now yes. because we haven't done it ourselves. Comment below what kind of videos you want to talk about. Uh, a lot. Well, you can start your personal brand from scratch if you're running ads. Keep going. No, keep going. Okay, if you're running ads and uh, your your channel or whatever your brand is not growing, I mean, then the content speaks for itself. Yeah. If the content's not there, it's not gonna grow. You said don't go organic. I say definitely go organic in the beginning. You have money. Use okay, your, like use that, your like money that. to grow your brand. Right. So let's quickly go a little bit into that. So something we've learned a lot about recently, we've been talking about in our videos, is ads. Ads is a massive part of just accelerating your business and once you have the foundation, blowing it up. Yeah. It's just traffic. But ads will not work if you have nothing to talk yeah, about. Exactly. No, so and you think shitty information and shitty channel and everything. If I was teaching someone how to grow a YouTube channel from zero to 100K as fast as possible, ads play a massive role in it, but you don't run ads from the beginning. I think you need a portfolio of, right. I think, 30 videos. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. 30, right. once you have 30 videos, uh, and also- and you need some proof of concept. You need, you need proof, proof of concept, concept that you're gaining subscribers, you're gaining followers, What's you're getting- waste of money? You're getting people on your notification squad, mm -hmm. join the notification squad. Um, you have people who are just watching every video. Mm -hmm. That means the value's there, the content is good. Now you just need traffic and you'll blow up. So mm -hmm. after about 30 videos, then you can start running ads to your videos and then people will find you, then they'll watch all your videos, and then they fall in love with you, boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, boom, pow. Yeah, right? so you may be watching this video, be like, okay, start personal brand, great. Start running ads, okay, but like, what do I, like I didn't learn how to start running ads. And, and you're right, we can't talk about this in one yeah. short video. Yeah. But now you know not what that. has to happen, uh, and in the future we'll talk about yep. the doing of it. Yes, in our comments section, a lot of people, like did you see the last comments? Mm -hmm. A lot of people said, we want to learn more about ads. ads yeah. But here's the thing, I also want to say one more thing. The, I want to say one more thing. Okay, the people that I saw saying we want to learn about ads, ads doesn't apply to you. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you're not learning this and then applying it in the wrong way. Only start using the shit once you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we should wrap this video up soon. We basically talked about what we want to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. This was just an intro. The question was, what do you do after publishing? Personal brand is the answer. Mm -hmm. For us, if you have the same goals as us, which is millions and multi millions. What did you want to? I want to edit on this, and that is like, I want to talk about our ad stuff, and I don't want to hold anything back, and we don't mm -hmm. hold anything back in videos. But I'm just saying, for for example, with the audiobook publishing course, there's some things that we can't say in videos because it's not fair to people paying a thousand dollars for the course. Oh right? yeah. But my point is, with the ads yeah. and the back end stuff, like I'll show you everything, right? We currently I have, have no reason to not tell you everything. Yeah. You know, we can right? show you all the ads we're running. We're sh we'll show you the all creatives. The numbers. All the numbers, the How split to set testing. It up, although I don't feel very comfortable with that myself. Yeah, but. that's that's always very confusing. Uh -huh. But uh, yes, we can talk. Guys, all. we'll show you everything what it takes to yeah. build a personal. Here's the thing: like a lot of people subscribing to us are not. It doesn't apply to them. But we'll still talk about it. Watch it. You can learn from it once you're ready. You now have the knowledge. But fire video, fire video. What? Oh wait, we have a clip we want to play at the end, yeah, which that? will have the magic emoji. All right. Yes. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Hope you liked the video. I think this was really big. A highly requested video. So should I yeah. do a pan in or like yes. this thing? Okay, peace. All right, guys. Big news update. We got a dog. Wait, is we this got a dog. dog. This needs to be more. Okay, I guess. It's we got no. This is just. We'll put this at the end of a video, and then we'll introduce him later. His name is Stevie. Yeah, what is? <laughs> look, at look at his face. <laughs> Uh, he's looking to give you a meme. Dog. Meme, meme, dog. A meme. meme dog, meme dog, meme dog. Squad dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you watch this video to the end, it's going to be the end of the video, so might as well. Uh -huh. So, out of love for Stevie, uh, maybe give Stevie a message, welcome to the family, and then drop some dog, dog emojis. emojis. Drop dog some emojis. fucking dog emojis. <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh, yeah. <sighs>
All right, Stevie, sign out. Rah, rah, rah. Peace Bye. Out. Peace out.